is Pitfall for the Atari 2600, which came out in 1982, a long time ago. In Pitfall, you are Pitfall Harry, and your goal in this game is to collect as many treasures as you can within a 20-minute time period while not getting eaten by alligators, getting killed by snakes, being burned alive by uh, fire, falling into pits, or drowning. It's a dangerous world out there. Oh, and also there's scorpions. You gotta watch out for them. Pitfall was a huge game at the time, and I think it even had a, a cartoon back when uh, characters like Pac-Man and Donkey Kong had their own cartoons in the early 80s. And the Pitfall Harry character I always theorized he owned a pawn shop. His whole mission was to go through the jungle and collect as much gold and bags of money and rings as possible to help stock his pawn shop in the days before online auctions. I don't think it says that in the back of the box anywhere, I just made that up. Pitfall Harry will die if he either falls off the alligator's head into the water or drops into his mouth. Now, to be honest with you, I was never a huge fan of Pitfall. You know, you spend the whole game running from screen to screen, jumping over things and dodging, shrinking pits and collecting rings and cash and money. But you never actually get to do anything with the money. You, you can't upgrade any weapons, you can't buy cars. I mean, let's be honest, Pitfall 2 was a way better game than this. Pitfall is a classic game of the 80s, and it's a franchise that has lasted many years since and been on other platforms like the Sega Genesis and the PlayStation. So obviously some people out there really enjoy Pitfall. I think that the first one is definitely pretty old school and crude by today's standards, and it's a great look at video game history. I think that Pitfall 2 is a really exciting game in the series. And uh, there will be another review on Pitfall 2 coming soon. That's my favorite enemy, the uh, fire. He couldn't walk around it. He just has to jump over it. <laughs> One has to think that the decision to release Pitfall in 1982, and also Jungle Hunt came out uh, about that time. I uh, had to be heavily inspired by the enormous success of Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, which featured the daring hero fighting his way through jungles, collecting treasure and historical artifacts. And I believe that Pitfall 2 inspired part of the third Indiana Jones movie. And we'll get into that soon. Hoy como se menea la chica, buena, buena, bueno. I'm with it. I'm, 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 I'm.